All right, guys, so there's something I want to talk to you guys about. Um, I'm starting a channel, a YouTube channel, with my friend Zero, and it's going to be a music channel made for music lovers. It's, it's just something that uh, I've only told a few people about, but the people that I have told, they've been very supportive of it, and I appreciate that a lot. I have a lot of ideas for that channel. We're going to get some good... We're going to bring some good DJs to the light. We're going to have good production, good effects people who are passionate about music and love what they do and I even have like ideas you know to hire some DJs with bigger names just to bring the channel more value and more attention we're gonna be accepting submissions for that just trying to bring the music community I guess more together than it it already is amazing but music has inspired me for years and I feel like this is just one of the coolest things that I can do with you know, knowing how to do video stuff and effects and uh, after COVID-19 we're gonna get back on shows with Space City Lords and stuff like that. Um, I've been taking a lot of notes, learning a lot of stuff and I finally get to put it to the test once my computer is done being in like con under construction because it needed way more power for me to run After Effects on there and I'm kind of like working way ahead of myself but it's okay I'm already learning how to use software I played with it already just it needs more room and I need to make it faster so uh, I've been really like schooling myself through that also I'm not proud that okay not gonna lie COVID-19 that month threw me off so for like the whole month I was like shit you know like a lot of my stuff got cancelled so I was like fuck it you know we'll stay inside and play Animal Crossing, so I kind of spent like 150 hours playing Animal Crossing, and I'm uh, not very proud of it because I have shit to do, you know, I have videos to fucking create and stuff like that, so I was just like, Ugh. I want to see this fucking happen, so I have to dedicate the time to it, and it's gonna happen, and I'm just, I'm already so excited for this shit. Today is actually the official first meeting of Frequency, so today we're gonna meet up, and we have just so many tools that we're gonna put together for this and it's just whew, really all it takes is just have a vision and execute the plan that's what 2019 is all about 2020 ugh, that's what 2020 is all about i've always loved producing music like it's something that i don't even share with people except for people that are really close to me i know me like they'll know that I like to produce but I'm like such a shy person so I never show people my beads it's something that I just couldn't dedicate a lot of time to I would go to raves and stuff and when I would get home I would hop on FL studio and you know just like fucking make little techno beats or whatever came to mind now that I am like getting older and I'm able to do all this stuff I'm realizing like dude anything is fucking possible like no matter what it is like if you dedicate time to it you're literally gonna fucking make it happen if we fucking die one day, which hopefully that doesn't happen. I mean, if we die one day, which hopefully it doesn't happen soon. We left something on this planet, man. We left what we loved and we're showing people. And there's just so much passion going into like all the stuff that I'm working on. So I'm just really excited and uh, uh, so fucking excited. Um, and I'm also going to bring you guys along. I'm going to create like a little spinning green screen. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be dope. It's just going to be dope. I'm excited. Oh, my computer's under construction, so I haven't been able to turn on for two days. And, uh, like, yeah, I'm going to totally play Animal Crossing. But after this, we're going to record the whole little green screen 360 shit. You're going to come with me, and we're going to do some fun green painting creating. Welcome to the world of Animal Crossing New Horizon. It's the cutest game ever. Check out my Houston Oilers flag. You get greeted by Isabel. You check your mail out. Your friends can get, send you gifts. You can change your outfits. You can change your hair color. Check it out. This is my chill room. This is my studio. <laughs> this is me being shy in front of the camera. Let me put my lamp out that Winton sent me. I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, man, this game is awesome. I love it. It's really cute. My sister came over and took over the island. Look at us. Oh, we're so cute. She made some badass waterfalls and stuff. It's so cool. 
she is moving to Louisiana and I don't know how this whole school thing is going to work out this year with COVID. So we can let her take the switch with her so she can have fun and keep, you know, letting her imagination run wild. And one of the newest things you can do in Animal Crossing is go swimming. It's adorable. I love it. It's so fucking cute. Anyways, you're supposed to use a, a card reader, a screen card reader to record it on your Switch device. But I didn't have that, so I was just using my camera. That's why you can see the really shitty lines in the middle. But, ah, nice. All right, so this next thing I'm gonna show you guys was inspired by Cash Bunny. She posted this and instantly I was like, I need to create my own little spinning circle thing. I didn't wanna to invest too much money on the materials because I'm already creating an actual big green screen studio. I got a little green bucket of paint, a foam ring, some chopsticks, a paint roller and a paint roller tray, and some tape, and a big roll of white paper. I taped it down on this table and on the wall because I needed to create a little 90 degree angle. And then I brainstormed how I could kind of create some smooth movement but kind of have a little handle. Now watch me put my gloves on and pour some nice smooth green velvet, no wait, green smooth paint. Hell yeah, look at that drip. I've actually never painted before, so this is gonna be one of the first times that I actually need to paint something with a paint, with a roller, paint roller, blah. Damn, son. This must be a DJ Smokey exclusive. <laughs> After I did that, I gently removed it and placed it somewhere safe to dry. The next day, I taped two on the wall and two on the table. Just kind of came up with this shit out of nowhere, you know, with the materials that I saw at Walmart. At first I was like, this paper's gonna break on me, there's no way I can even bend it into the foam ring, but, you know, it worked out pretty well. and you end up having a big ol' green screen lollipop. I switched over to my 50 millimeter. I ended up putting more chopsticks around the side and cutting them in half, and ended up being easier for me to move around. But this is very painful for me to watch. I'm doing the voiceover for this video about three months after doing this, and I was just trying to learn how to key the green out, and I was having a terrible time. I'm rotoscoping that. I, it's, I now have presets that I've created you just change the little background, you know, graffiti or clouds. It's very nice. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next videos that I'm going to be posting. This is what I was up to in April. I was backed up on posting my vlogs, so I just wanted to make sure I posted them in order. Catch you on the next one.